mic on the camera sorry about that wasn't really expecting to vlog right now the one day I decided to go to cross the extreme is the day that I was late I got stuck behind some slow guy hit every red light after a red light I hit that train track and the gates came down just one after the other so I spun a one mile run with the sandbag I have no idea how much this thing weighs but it's enough to suck probably gonna miss the row burpee workout but I'm gonna stick around for some sumo deadlifts it's gonna be great with this uh, hot back I got right now Whew. What's up crew? Welcome to another video. Uh, starting this kind of late, or in a weird way I guess. Edited yesterday's video and it took a lot longer than anticipated as usual. Took my computer into the garage to start exporting. Just looked at the clock and I was like, you know, I could probably make it to the gym. So I'm gonna go to extreme. Grabbed my weight belt because I knew there was deadlifts. Went inside to grab a couple other things to switch out some stuff. Got in my car and realized, holy crap, it went from, what, 11.45 to 11.52 real fast. I was like, crap, if I'm gonna make it, I gotta go. So I started going. I was making okay time. I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna be really, really cutting it close, if not like one minute late. Red light, red light, super slow driver, red light, red light, train tracks. And I mentioned that in the run. And I was like, wow, this is really going good. The day I decided to go back and I'm gonna be late, very late. So walk in, talk to Tracy, and decide, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna spin the wheel. So ended up with a mile run, uh, but with that mile run, you're holding a heavy sandbag, which I'm gonna guess it's at least 25 pounds, no more than 50 pounds. It was pretty freaking heavy. After that, I just decided to jump straight into the wad. Today's day two of the 30 day challenge, and I'll, I'll give you a quick update on the keto diet and how it's going, as well as 
give you the challenge of today, which I experienced today, which is cool. And that's what I'm gonna try to do from now on too, is every day I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunt for that challenge. And unless I know off the top of my head, there's one that I can, I can really sit down and talk about. So first of all, let's talk about the keto. Fasted right now it is 1.16 p.m. Keto fasted, so I had a coffee with MCT oil and coconut oil. And I'm reading right now on the Genius Food that MCTs can actually slow weight loss or, or uh, halt it completely because you're providing your body with ketone producing elements. So I have to look into possibly not doing that in the mornings. And it's it's all right, it's not too bad. Like I don't feel super hungry. I do feel like I'm on a little bit more and it's only been two days. Like I, I know that might be just like placebo in my mind thinking about uh, being on this diet, but I do feel pretty good so far. I don't feel like I need to eat. Of course now when I cook breakfast for Dylan and Sarah, I really, really feel like I wanna eat and like I'm sitting there looking at the eggs, I'm looking at the bacon, I'm looking at whatever I'm cooking and I'm just like, oh, I just wanna eat it right now. Staying on course, uh, down two pounds already, which I'm gonna assume is just either water weight or even sugar weight. <laughs> I don't know how much uh, sugar or glucose your uh, muscles hold on to and if it weighs anything, but two pounds over the course of a day is Kind of extreme. Damn it, I forgot to do a physique again. Speaking of fails, so yesterday's fails. Forgot to do physique and I forgot to like add vlog titles to the video. Anyways, I digress. So far I'm feeling good about the diet. I'm not feeling like I need to cut out of it and I, I think it's a good spot to be as far as feeling like I can make it through the rest of the 30 days. Of course, going to Madison, going to the games is gonna be a challenge, uh, but what I do plan to do is you know, look up restaurants and their menus and try to find the best ones for me to go to for dinner so that I don't have to worry about uh, trying to figure out what I'm gonna substitute to make sure that I'm staying keto. And then of course I might end up doing a video on that specifically while I'm in Madison. Might be a nice easy, wow it's real dark. Might be a nice easy way to produce some content without putting way too much effort into a video. I know I'm gonna be really, really, really busy on Thursday or Friday producing content for rock tape so that's it for the keto stuff because that's a lot and i <laughs> i know it's going to be great to edit and just the uh exposure here challenge number two for this 30-day challenge going under a dark bridge again hold on that's not too bad challenge number two for the 30-day challenge i'm going to challenge myself to not quit i'm really 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 bad at rationalizing quitting um, or actually I'm really good at that because I'm capable of thinking of any reason, any excuse why I don't need to or I shouldn't or I don't want to finish something. Like I said yesterday, failing makes me not want to finish something and that's a terrible excuse. In this case, it's just like, I rationalize, like, uh, the perfect example is in the, the wad today. I legitimately sat down on that rower nine minutes into the row noise is way too loud. I legitimately sat down on that rower thinking to myself, nine minutes into the class getting started in that workout with a 14 minute cap that, oh, I'm just gonna see how far I can get under that 14 minute cap. And not my own 14 minute cap, but the one that's already on the clock. And once I got to round three, it was about 13 and a half minutes. Uh, someone said, let's go John, or Ray said something that I was like, no, I'm not even gonna finish it. I'm just gonna see how much I can get. And then Ray said, no, come on, finish it. And I was like, he's right. What am I, what am I thinking? Like the workout is written on the board. If I'm gonna start the workout, first of all, if I'm gonna start the workout, I'm gonna finish it. And that's something that I just need to stop doing to myself. I need to stop rationalizing or coming up with these odd reasons why I don't need to do something that is potentially really, really important. Not only that, but this is also gonna be mentally, this is gonna give me a, a stronger mental being because I'm gonna then choose to do something a hundred percent not just whatever percent I deem good at the time so bad on me for sitting down and thinking that way originally but I did finish the workout it took me 11 minutes which isn't bad that's a good solid time domain and then jumped right into the deadlifts with Ray and this was after that mile run so I'm pretty happy about that so challenge number two is to not allow myself to rationalize cutting things short and just getting ready to finish something. I'm not gonna end it, end it right away. Maybe we'll record something else, but we shall see. So, there you go. That air, that air conditioner is on every single time I wanna do video. So, obviously, 
I need to finish this video with a certain couple things. Uh, first of all, there's some new to the crew already, so let me actually grab my phone and check on what that number is. All right, we got three new to the crew, and I have no idea if that is exposed correctly. Oh, the ND filter is making it really hard. You can check it if you want to, although it might change by the time this is uploaded. Three new to the crew, three burpees for those who just recently joined. Hmm. We're gonna do this outside because uh, garage door is in the way. And then of course, 30 day challenge. My daily workout is Cindy, EDOD plus one. Yesterday was one round, today's two rounds. And I feel like it's gonna suck already. Cause like I said, I wanna do it strict and I'm, I need to be more positive. It's not gonna suck, but it's gonna be painful. Um, doing my pull up strict uh, time lapse-ish. So I tried out a little, tried out a little uh, theory, hypothesis, on the effect of a time lapse. Watching a lot of Hoonigans lately, and they do this really cool moving time lapse, which I'm not going to move this one. But it, uh, it has a lot of blur, a lot of motion blur. Like you can see him go from a chair to the other side of the shop, and it's like smooth. So what I did for you film nerds is I brought down the shutter speed to I think one over thirty. So that way there's a little bit of motion blur. And then when I speed up the footage, there might be a little bit more of a smooth looking situation. We'll see. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. Join the crew. Bring it on into Almaville. I don't know why I say that now. And if you're not new, tap and go to that like button, leave a comment, share this video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. And until the next one, which is tomorrow, I'll see you later, crew.